in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit TinyTask files. So this is actually a bit tricky and requires a bit of knowledge. Now, what you have to do is first, of course, you want to record a macro or a mouse sequence using TinyTask. The way you do this, as you probably know, is by pressing record, so rec, and then clicking whatever you want and then stopping the recording. If I now play this, as you can see, it's playing what I just recorded. Now, I want to save this, but I want to edit this later. And how you do this is as follows. You have to save it clicking the save button, not the .exe button, because if you save the .exe, this will make uh, basically a program which will simply run the clicking sequence on your computer. But if you save it, as a tiny task file, you'll be able to edit it using these preferences later. So you want to click save and then save the, uh, let's say I'm going to uh, type in sample. There we go. Is sample recording and I'm going to save it downloads. If you save it like this, as you can see here in my downloads folder, there's now a sample dot re r e c. OK, so rec recording. Now, if I were to open this file, okay, so let's say I want to close down tiny task and I'm going to open up the program yet again here in a second. There we go. Now, if I were to open up the program again and I press play, as you can see, there's nothing recorded, but I want to get the recording we made earlier back. So you want to press open, look for it. So I saved it downloads and as you can see, test sample .rec, and you want to open it. And if I now try to play it, as you can see, Here's the sequence we recorded earlier. Now, the thing over here is that if I now click preferences, I can completely edit what I recorded earlier. So as you can see, I'm going to, let's say, speed it by twice. And if I press play, as you can see, it's going twice as fast. And I can also uh, modify everything else. So I can play set, uh, I can set continuous loops, continuous playback, and I can also uh, play the custom speed and set custom speed and stuff like that. And the tiny task file will be edited. So that's pretty much it. That's as much as tiny task itself allows you to edit those files. And I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.